Hi everybody, today I'm gonna to do a video on turns, mostly three turns, but I'll throw some other stuff in there too. Um, because I had a lot of people asking me about turning. Um, so we'll do some double three turns, maybe some back three turns. Um, and then we'll just go from there and see what we can get accomplished today. But what I'm gonna start with is the um, skates. So if you noticed my, my it's not too bad, but it is getting a little bit low um, on this one. This one is actually, hmm, they're about the same. This one might be a little bit more. So I'm gonna rotate these today because if it gets too flat and it, it doesn't come out enough, it's harder to turn and spin. Um, so I'm gonna rotate my toe stopper today to start with before um, I even do any turns because this is getting a little flat. I noticed it when I was trying to do toe jumps uh, the other day. Um, so all you need is a little Allen wrench and then we're gonna rotate these. Okay, if you don't have uh, the pick skate frame, um, you can skip over this part. But this one actually has two, um, you need a Phillips also that holds it in place. And then you use your little Allen wrench. Most skates come with this um, and just uh, loosen it. Then it has predetermined hole, holes for the um, for the Phillips. So you just circle it around and try and kind of match them up. You can kind of see where the little hole is in there. And then you'll just screw it in. I'm not gonna show you how I do all that. Um, but yeah, you just un, you loosen these, undo. So you need the Phillips and the Allen. You undo that. You match up the little holes, you'll see them, because there's little pre-dotted holes. You can kind of see it right there. And then you just screw it in, and then now I have a fresh pick. So you get two on each. And then I have a giant hole in my head and a huge scratch on my arm. That's not from skating. Uh, if you don't know, I have a vineyard as well, and I was pulling some posts, and it went scratched my arm and then slipped off my arm and went into my head. I'm okay, bye. So that's not from skating. Now the bruises on my knees, that's from skating. All right, so I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna do some three turns. Okay, I'm gonna start with just each of the individual three turns. On the forward three turns, you're gonna feel like you have to really roll if it's an inside, an inside, or an outside, an outside to make it work. The backwards ones are a little bit different, but we'll get to those later. We'll start with the forward ones because that's what most everybody is doing. I did have a comment that someone's taking their silver moves and has been working on the, the you know, forward, backward ones. Um, so we'll do those two and maybe some double threes um, if everybody's working on their gold moves. Um, but most importantly on the forward ones you want to feel that same spot almost you feel on your inside like if you were doing an inside three turn like you would feel on your forward spin that we were doing so you really feel that in like you have to bend that's why you really need um skates that aren't too stiff like you don't want the really really hard like brand new piano boots probably wouldn't be the best thing to put on these right now so I'm gonna demonstrate just forward inside three turns since I feel like those are a little safer. So start with the insides before you do the outside one, especially if you've already started to spin a little bit, you'll feel like that's a little bit more natural. And if you've been doing toe loops, you're already gonna, the, the right inside's already gonna probably be okay. All right, see how it rocks a little bit to the front, just like the spin. Here, I'm gonna do what I was kind of doing before. If you're too stiff, you're gonna feel that. Okay, so we wanna keep it, um, it's hard for you to see me here, but we wanna try and keep it so you're not too stiff on the forward ones. The backwards ones, though, you do feel a little more stiff. Okay, so now we're gonna do the outside. Um, they are a little more difficult in these uh, inline skates. So um, get the forward uh, insides down before you try the outsides is my recommendation. But um, if you're more of an outside skater, you might like the outsides. So that's basically on you. But I find that the insides are quite a bit easier. All right, here's the outside. 
The outsides tend to go a little more forward, so you have to be careful you don't lean too far forward. So the outsides on the um, turn um, are fine, but once you are backwards on your inside edge, they tend to like to really roll forward. So you have to hold tight on that wheel. Don't let yourself go up to the toe pick after or toe stopper because you're gonna come to a complete stop on that. And I'll show you what I was doing when I first started these so you can understand what I mean. It was really lean on that toe stopper. So you have to let yourself just kind of glide off of it. Hold tight. Like in the spins, you have to hold it tight the whole time. If you let your muscles go, it's over. All right, I'm gonna do the other foot. Okay, those are the forward three turns. Here's my recap on all four of those. The insides, you definitely have to make sure you're really pushing on that inside spot of the front wheel, exact same spot as your spin, and you have to hold it there. Um, you have to let your body go with your foot. If you fight it with your upper body, you're going to catch your, your edge of your wheels and you're going to go down. For the outsides, my biggest problem and the hardest thing to control is after the turn. The turn itself really isn't that bad. It's after you wanna rock all the way forward to those toes. So you wanna feel that rock up that you get when you do a three turn on that outside. It just rocks up and then hits to the inside. Now don't let the toe stopper lunge forward. So you need to keep your body really tight and tall on the whole part of that three turn. Okay, so we're gonna try a double three turn. Um, so these will be in the gold moves. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate um, one set of double threes. I'm gonna do uh, just one because I don't wanna, this video is gonna get long, um, but I'm gonna show you kinda how you wanna do the in between the turns. Make sure your upper body stays really tall. Don't let anything wiggle between. Don't roll your shoulders or else you're not gonna be able to do the second turn. It's gonna put you to the toe. It's just not gonna happen. So you have to keep it really controlled and you wanna pass your arms through the same as you would on the ice. Don't, don't change anything on that. So however you were passing your arms through when you're working on this with your coach is how you're gonna pass your arms through on this three turn. Um, but I would say most important tip on the double threes is upper body carriage. If your upper body body carriage is wrong, your feet aren't going to respond. Okay, now I'm just gonna demonstrate one set of forward to backwards threes as they would be in the silver adult moves in the field or pre-juvenile moves in the field, depending um, on if you're taking standard or adult. Those last ones are in juvenile. Um, we'll do the back double threes too later. Um, right now I feel like this is, you know, if you're just starting, start with these. And then I'll do a video on counters and rockers too. I've actually found counters aren't quite bad on these. They're easier than I thought they would be. Um, the hardest thing so far for me is the twizzles. Um, so let's just do one set of a forward and a backwards three, like if you're taking your silver moves. Um, start with the one that's easiest for you on the ice. Do those. Once they feel good, switch to the next. Don't try to do all of them in one day. So for me, I like... I don't know actually which one I like. I'm just gonna do whichever one comes um, easiest right now, like for setup, because I like going this way better, so I'm not going into this stuff that I have over here. So that's why I keep I picked this foot because of that, not because it's my best one. Um, but I'm just gonna demonstrate one set. All right, that's kind of hard to see. Sorry about that. I don't have a lot of space, so. I just tried to do it as best as you can. But you will notice that the back threes are harder when they're not in double. That's why I did the double three first, even though that's supposedly the harder test for figure skating. Um, these are harder when you have to do it from a stationary push. So 
Um, just make sure that you get your balance over the side you want to be and don't rush. Use the push. Use the ground. Do not rush that. All right. So I would say start with forward inside threes, forward outside threes. Then I would try a double three on whatever your easiest one is and then try the silver ones, um, which sounds weird, but everything's different on these things. So we did just a little bit of three turns, nothing too much. I just gave you a little bit of the pointers that have helped me. Um, I will do counters next time. Um, I, I had a really hard time videoing the silver double threes. I had to make my lobe, or not double threes, forward to backwards three. I had to make my lobes really, really small and it was hard. Um, don't make them that small. I was just trying to get them on video to show you how to, how to do it. Um, but work on, when it comes to three turns, work on the ones that are easiest for you on ice. Or work on the stuff that's easier and then work your way up. That's very important. Definitely pad up for three turns. Don't just pad up for jumps. The worst falls I've had is on this kind of stuff. All right, so make sure you're padded up. Wrist guards, tailbone pad for sure. Um, you don't fall on your knees nearly as much on these, but you do hit wrists. It's very, very, very important to wear your wrist guards. Um, I'm going to do a few more footwork videos throughout this week um, and next week, and then I'm gonna put together a step sequence um, with everything in it. Um, so slowly piecing it together. Um, but I hope everybody's doing well. And if there's any other videos you want me to do, just let me know. I do cut these down quite a bit from what I actually did and I do miss some stuff. So if there was something that you're like, oh, well, I just wanted to know exactly where my weight was on this when I exited that turn, let me know, I'll message you because I do cut some of it out. I, I did do a lot more, I did all of them, but I just cut it down um, just to get the points across. But if I miss something, just let me know. Okay, see you in the next video, bye.